Hi guys, in this video we are going to add bottom tab navigation to our navigation system. So at the home screen we will additionally see this navigation where we can switch between the events list and the QR code scan functionality which we will add probably in the next or two videos. So um, this bottom tab navigation will appear only at the home screen okay so if we go to the profiles we won't see it if we go back to home we will see it and then if we go to a event detail screen we won't see the bottom tab navigation so it will be added only for the main screen okay so yeah without further ado let's get started All right, guys, so this is where we left off the last time. And in order to get started with setting up the bottom tab navigation, we need to go to the official documentation. So let's go to React Navigation version 6, and we need to find, find bottom tabs navigator, and we need to uh, install bottom tabs. So let's copy this. Let's go to the terminal, quit the development server from running, and let's wait a few seconds for the installation to be complete. All right. And as the next step, um, we need to understand how do we want to nest our navigations together. So, so far we have a situation where we took a particular screen, put it in the stack and then nested the stack in the drawer. Right now, the situation will be for the home screen only a little bit more complex. So we will have a screen, then we will put it in a tab, in a bottom tab navigation. Then we will take this tab and nest it into the stack. And then the stack will be nested in the drawer. All right. So let's try this out. I'm going to copy this example over here. And then I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code to navigation. And here I'm going to create a tabs.js file. I'm going to paste um, the example from the documentation, the name I'm going to change, as well as I'm going to change this function to an arrow function. So it will be home tabs. And we want to export it as well. So export const home tabs. Okay. And uh, we will need to import the home screen. So now it's auto imported. And let's create another screen for the QR codes. Okay, we will use it in the future. So QR code screen JS. All right. QR code screen. And let's return a view. Here, let's just put in a text with a QR code scan or something like this. All right. We will also bring in a style sheet. All right. And here let's create a variable styles, assign style sheet, create. Let's set up a screen and let's just add a padding of 20. And now we can assign style is equal to styles dot screen all right so we have a ready qr code screen all right so now let's go back to tabs and let's place over here qr code screen and let's place qr code as the name all right so we can now save our tabs.js file and as mentioned before we now need to nest our home tabs in the stack so we need to find the home stack and now instead of the home screen we will place over here the home tabs which consists of the home screen okay so this home screen is already in the home tabs so let's place over here the home tabs okay now we can go ahead and save this and then i will run the development server again Okay, and this is the result. So we have um, 
a home uh, tab and a QR code tab. However, this doesn't look nice because we see those question marks over here. So we need to do some further adjustments, but, but before we dig into it, let's see if the switching part works, okay? So I'm going to go to QR code and we see this QR code scan. However, over here, we also see the uh, header from this bottom tab navigation. And over here, we see this header as well. All right, so as mentioned before, there are still some uh, customization to do. Let's get into it. So before we actually go to the tabs, we need to fix one issue related to our um, navigation system. And mainly uh, we have an issue, a problem with um, naming. So home appears twice in our navigation system and we need to change this. So as you can see in the stack, we have name home and in the tabs, we also have a name home. So let's fix this. Here I'm going to place home tabs like this as the name. And I'm going to use the options to simply set the title to home. Okay. I'm going to comment this out just for a second to show you that right now we have home tabs. And then if, if I save it with the options, with the title set as home, we have home again, all right? So now we can actually go to the tab navigator and here we will do some further adjustments. So what I'm going to do is to set up some screen options. Um, we are picking up the route because the route will be necessary a little bit later on. But for now, let's focus on getting rid of those headers for our bottom tab navigation. So we want to get rid of home and we want to get rid of QR code. All right. So this is fairly simple. We just need to write header shown and set it to false. Okay, let's save this. And as you can see, no more um, issues with the headers. All right, so as the next step, I'm going to adjust the top bar label. So as you can see, currently we have them visible and maybe in some cases, in some projects, you don't need to uh, display the label home and QR code, okay? To get rid of those um, labels you just need to set up a top bar top bar show label to false okay and this solves the problem of course right now it's very difficult to navigate between two screens because we don't have icons that represent a particular screen okay but we will fix this soon the next setting is tab bar style. Tab bar style, there it is, all right. And here we can set up the background color. So let's change it to black. Okay, and now our tab bar is black. This is really that simple. Um, now we can change the active tint color and inactive tint color. So currently the active tint color is blue and inactive tint color is gray. So let's go back and let's change this tab bar active tint color. Let's change it to yellow and tab bar inactive, inactive tint color. Let's set it to, for example, red. Okay. So now we see that the active is yellow and currently we are at the home screen. And then if we change it to QR code, we see that the um, home screen became red, all right? So yeah, gray is a more proper color for displaying inactive tint color. So I'm just going to comment this out. And right now we will go to the top bar icon, all right? From here, 
we will pick up focused, we will pick up the color, and we will pick up the size. Okay, so first of all, let's create a variable icon name, and now we will use the route, the route that we have over here, okay? We will check if the route name is home tab, and we will set the icon name to, for example, home, which is filled, the icon which, is, uh, which represents a home filled or a home outlined, all right? So if this is unclear, just follow along. So first of all, we will get this route and we will check if the route name is equal to, and then we need to use this name over here, home tabs, okay? And if this is the case, what we are going to do is to set the icon name to focused. And if this is the case, if this is focused, then we will have home. And in other case, we will have home outline like this. All right. Um, then we will have a else if, and then again, if route name is equal to, and then we will grab this QR code, All right? And if this is the case, we will do something very similar, but um, we will have over here QR code, and then QR code, QR code outline, just like this. All right, and then finally we can return, and then we will use ion icons again, and we will set the name as icon name. And then the size will be, um, let's, uh, let's set it to, um, for example, we will see if, the, if it's focused, then we will have 35. And if it's not focused, we will have the default size. And then we will have the color. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's save this. Um, we have an issue. So, yeah, I forgot to close this um, Ion Icons component. Let's save this. And as you can see right now, we have the focused icon bigger. And uh, we, we, first of all, we see actually the icons. And then if we go to a particular screen, the screen is set to focused and this means that um, the size is yeah uh, displaying according to those settings so we have a default setting i think it's 25 and then we see some colors and the colors have been set um over here so this is the top bar active tint color okay if we change it to red as you can see the icon is now red Okay, so let's go back to yellow. And this is basically it. You can, of course, create many tabs. I created only for the home. So you can create, for example, for um, the profiles, uh, home tabs. And instead of two options down here, you can have, for example, three icons, all right? You just need to do exactly what I did, uh, but for a different stack. That's it. So I think we can finish off over here. We have our navigation system completed. Um, I think in the next part, we will do the backend part. So we will do some coding in Django, and then we will take care of creating this QR code scan functionality. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, please consider doing so. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.